All right, Shanti, why is everybody having such a difficult time with attachment, even if they realize they're not in control? Yes. Everyone is looking for happiness. Happiness comes from within. And most people are not aware that happiness is our own nature. So they are searching for happiness outside. Just like the standard story I said, one old lady lost something. She was looking under the street light and people started helping her. Wise person came around. What did you lose? I lost my ring. Where did you drop it? I dropped in the house. Why are you looking outside? My house has no lights. There is light. This metaphor explains. People are looking for happiness outside because there is much more glory. But going inside is difficult for average person because there is darkness inside. Until you wake up, you don't see the real light. So people are seeking happiness and they cannot find inside, so they have to find outside. Where do you find outside? Five senses. We get the pleasure from seeing, hearing, testing, touching, smelling, and thinking. Okay. So we get into material things that gives pleasure and then attach to people, children, husband, wife, because children are extension of their themselves. So they feel more security by hanging on to their children. They feel more security collecting clothes, collecting money. All the attachment is substitute for, for finding permanent happiness. People know this, but why do they do this even if they know it? This is called Maya. Maya is cosmic illusion, so powerful. And I made several videos on Maya, several aspects. So Maya, what is Maya? Cosmic illusion. If we know this is illusion, why do we get deluded by it? Because illusion is universal. Like illusion, like everything in reference to me is also part of that illusion. So we don't know it. Dream is illusion. We know dream is illusion because we wake up, that reference is gone. But we are in the dream. You are in the dream, this, everything we see in the dream. Mm -hmm. So we can get totally lost into it. Mm -hmm. What is the waking up then? Waking up is going in deep meditation. Just like waking up from the dream. It's a dream consciousness. You come out of dream consciousness. Same way, this normal consciousness, waking consciousness, dreaming consciousness, dreamless consciousness, there are three consciousness. And there is fourth one, transcendental consciousness. Transcendental consciousness that I am, that I am. There is nothing but me. Attachment would be gone. Okay. So this is my people. And the problem is people get the pleasure. They think it gives them happiness. Mm -hmm. They are not aware of it. Mm. Then suffering comes they become aware of it. And then pleasure comes, they forget about it. So the suffering comes from the attachment? Attachment. Pleasure, attachment to pleasure gives. So, mm -hmm. this is what happens. Somebody who has sickness goes to doctor mm -hmm. and doctor prescribes. Doctor prescribes, don't eat this, don't eat this, don't do that. And they are so desperate, they follow it. Right? Right. Then they get better, they forget about doctor, they forget about rules. Mm -hmm. This is exactly we do with pleasure. Mm -hmm. Pleasure. And uh, we repeat it. So there is one bhajan, I put it on video, mm -hmm. that everyone, and composed by Kabira, who lived uh, in a 15th century, mm -hmm. almost 700 years ago, he says, Everyone remembers God in the suffering, but hardly anyone remembers God in the good times. Mm. If anyone remembers God in good time, there won't be suffering. Mm. 
or anyone remembers the rules of health when they are healthy they won't get sick in the first place <laughs> see this oh, is okay. paradox 